do I think McDonald's is the best um, producer of delicious plastic covered in salt? Yes, AKA fries, yes. <laughs> Gems, it's Grandma Shamima, and we are back at it again with another video. Um, so we are in my dark AF closet. <laughs> um, I am actually getting ready to. Oh my god, I'm walling. I haven't drank my little oxy shrug mix yet. Actually, let me do that first because I need that to settle. <laughs> So in the mornings, I usually drink Oxy Shred, and a lot of the times I put vinegar in it, but lately I just have not been able to stomach it. So I'm gonna pass on that, and just fingers crossed, hope that the goalie gummies work, or maybe I'll just start like putting um, apple cider vinegar into like sugar-free juice or something. I don't know, but I'm trying to drink it, and it's just, it always getting good, like, it's nasty, but the more I drink it, the more I was getting used to it. It just all of a sudden, my taste buds just like flipped on me. And I feel like that's almost like part of aging. Like, I don't understand. My body just be betraying me. But anyways, yes, I usually have the regular oxygen shred, but I'm going to have the hardcore one today because um, I've been feeling like the regular one's not giving me the juice anymore. Like, it never got me like hype hype, but I feel like it'll give me a little something, like a little... You know, a little. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe this that I thought was, I was getting was from just drinking something cold in the morning. Maybe that's kind of helping to wake me up a little bit. Um, or maybe it was working. I just built a tolerance. But anyways, I'm gonna do the hardcore one this morning. It's gonna be my first time. So hopefully, all goes well. I don't want no no issues, no situations, no nothing. Wait. Did I open this? Wait a minute. Did I open this? So I feel like I've never had this before, but I guess I did. I mean, I've had this for a little while. Okay, well, let me go ahead and make it now and then I get dressed and come back out. But yeah, this has like a lot of like good stuff in it, including nootropic focus cognitive boosters. So that prebiotics, full B vitamin spectrum, like, it just has a lot of stuff that's in it that's good for you, you know? Um, I mean, it says it helps to burn fat, but I mean, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, but I do want the other benefits from this. So let's go ahead and try this. Fine. I'm looking for an expiration date to make sure I haven't had this for too long because I, I had quite a few items in my supplement cabinet that were expired. Oh, I have plenty of time, all right. Cool beans. Actually, I think we'll wear my J Sculpt outfit today. Can I wear my J Sculpt outfit or do I want to wear my little set from Zaquana? I think I'm wearing my set from Zaquana. Yeah, because ever since I ordered, well, I ordered some of her um, athletic wear and it came with this free bottle and I've been obsessed. Like, it's so small, but it's the perfect size. Like, Cause I really don't need those bigger bottles. Um, or so, well, so I've realized since getting this, I'm just like, this is literally the perfect size. Um, and so I'm just like, I don't think I'll ever need a big sugar bottle again. Like, what? What did I need? Or what does anybody make that's that big? Unless you put a, a smoothie in it or something. But it's a sugar bottle, not a regular bottle bottle. Like, are the girls drinking like 20 ounces of protein shake? I'm, I genuinely don't know like but this little bottle and it was free and I've been using it non-stop ever since like and it's black it's like she knows me like it's like she gets me you know um but yeah so I am about to make this I think it's just 10 ounces of water finally I see your face I'm, I'm over here with my face chap lip chat, all that um, yeah, 10 ounces of cold water. So I'll do 10 ounces of room temperature and then I will put some ice in it and give it like, you know, a shaken vibe. <laughs> Since I'm having this right before the gym, I'm not going to have my little pre-workout snack. I've been eating the Fig Newtons as of late. I need to get some yogurt because I bought a whole little bowl specifically to make yogurt parfaits. 
and haven't made one yet. Girl, you forgot the shaker. Jimmy. <laughs> Y'all saw it early in the morning. I'm going to the gym a little earlier today because my clean lady is coming. I said my clean lady. A clean lady is coming. I don't know if she's going to be my clean lady just yet. But yeah, so she's coming a little earlier than planned. So I said, you know what? That is just fine with me. That is just fine with me. That is just fine with me. The ice. Jimmy. Put that in here. Give that a bit of a shake. A bit of a shake. <gasps> my Apple Watch is not charged. It's on my bed. Oh, brother. All right. So I'm going to charge my Apple Watch. See if I can get like 20% or something. Change my clothes, finish drinking this, then go to the gym. What a morning. Already, what a morning. So my watch has 43% left. So we still have a good amount of juice. So I don't have to like charge it for this workout. Um, but yeah, I'm doing upper body today. Upper body. Upper body. Upper body. Ooh. And didn't shave. Mm. What am I to wear? Can y'all stop watching me? I'm trying to change. Like, y'all, y'all so nasty. Like, ew. Okay, so I decided on the Quana set. And every time I put it on, I'm just like re amazed at just how amazing this is. Like, when I tell y'all, this is such amazing quality. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Are she giving five legs to run for their money? Like, at this point, thirty slay, y'all sponsoring? Cause baby, I, no, but like seriously, this is one of the best quality uh, workout sets I've ever tried on. Like she is thick, honey. Oh, and it's actually high waisted. The shelf is covered. Hello, got a little skin showing. But if you don't. You don't have to, adjustable straps on the back, but most of the support from the bra is right here in the mid area. So even though it's thin straps, you don't feel it like weighing down on your shoulders, which I hate, um, but yeah. Um, I was like, I look so cute. I think I'm gonna take a picture. I think I might take a picture, like, outside. And I was like, if I go outside, maybe I should like do a couple drills or something. I said, you know what? Let me not do too much because my legs are burning from yesterday's workout. <sighs> so I'm not, I'm not trying to do too much, like for real. <sighs> it's cold with my teeth. Oh. All right, let's try this way. Y'all couldn't do it. I was feeling nauseous, like. Let me go ahead and eat something. Cause I was not gonna make it, like what? All right, let me put my shoes on for real now. <laughs> come on, Jimmy, man, pick up the pace. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's, that's on me. That's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's we. I know that's we. That's why I take my time. That's why I take my time. Before I make my mind. Before I make my mind. And I do this like seven days, days out of the week. I do this daily. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I'm going crazy. I had to earn my stripes. So I don't have to work no nine. We be taking everything for granted, no lie. Cause I remember days that we could barely get by. Used to use the negativity to get high. But now the comments we reading can ruin our lives. Why? It used to be easy back on Easy Street. They wouldn't that good, it's going down like it's on the knee beat. Even though now it's lobster, all on top of my pasta. I can still feel locked up, like the head of a roster. They'll take your soul from right up under your nose And make you feel like you did it just to obtain your goals Oh yeah, it's good when you get it, but it don't last that long Cause I promise you can't take it with you when you gone That's why I come up and I fall off, that's on me If I fall and I sell out, that's we That's why I take my time Before I make my mind 
I do this like seven days out of the week. I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes so I don't have to work no nine. We can learn from other people's failures sometimes. I used to make believe and tell a plethora of lies. Now I see. I am back in the gym. Ooh, not the top top in your face. Um, back in the gym and where's my phone? I looked at this quick recipe. Can I really say it's a recipe? It was just chicken and veggies, like in a pot. <laughs> but it looked really good and I lost it. So I'm trying to see if I can find it again. <gasps> no, I lost it. What in the world? <laughs> Ghetto. But I took a screenshot of the picture. Like, doesn't that look good? So I'm basically gonna try and recreate this. Oh, that looks so good. Dang. Watch mine look nothing like this. I'm finna be sick. My quads are still stored from yesterday's workout, so I'm gonna go ahead and have some BCAs as well. You know what? Maybe I'll make a smoothie too. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm definitely gonna have some BCAs to help with recovery. Cause <laughs> my legs are hurting now. I know it's gonna be worse tomorrow, and my shoulders are gonna be worse tomorrow. Like. I already know I'm about to be in pain and I don't want to be, so I'm not even trying to deal with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some of this and I'm gonna cook a real quick lunch and we're gonna move on. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold y'all. I've been stealing bites <laughs> while I was cooking and it's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, mm. it's so good. Now, if I had to do my own thing, I would definitely add tomatoes. But this is so good, y'all, like for real. And it's quick as hell, which I love. Y'all know I love. Anything in one pan, sign me up. Mmm. Mmm.
Okay, y'all, so I am showered and dressed. Well, duh, <laughs> I'm in a car. And um, I looked up different like herb shops and stuff that had great reviews. And I didn't really look into the reviews like I usually do. I just went with whatever had five stars. And so I came out all the way over here to a place called the Herb Shop. And I'm reading the reviews in the parking lot. And I'm just like, I probably should have done this before I came. <laughs> So most of the reviews are actually for an iridologist, I believe. The lady in there is an iridologist, so she basically she looks into your eyes, your iris, and uses like colors and patterns and pictures, stuff like that to basically figure out what's wrong with you. And I'm just like, I didn't come here for that. <laughs> mm. I just came here to try and find like maybe some sea moss if they have it, or like herbs tea or something maybe something that can help with energy something like that just kind of like look around and see if there's any supplements that i could be adding to my routine and now i'm scared i love you thought about turning around and going back home but i'm already here you know like why not just try it out and see mm. i'm drinking my bcas this isn't a flavor i want to say grape lollipop or something like that from EHP Labs. I have a lot of their products actually. Um, and I really like this. I put a little lemon in it, a little, a little lime juice. Got a little, <laughs> a little twang. Mm. But yeah, so, oh, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. I like it. Mm. My legs are sore, honey. So hopefully this will help me not die tomorrow. But yeah, I'm about to go to this place, y'all, and I am nervous because it's a whole lot, a whole lot of reviews, honey. And I'm like, damn, I'm looking curious, but I don't even want to. Mm, no. So you're just going there, buy some tea or whatever the case is, and keep it moving. Well, that was short-lived, as y'all can see. <laughs> they were definitely closed, so there will be no herb shop for me today. I thought about going to another location, but I'm tired. So I guess we'll do that on a different day. I'll Yo, they're closed until September 12th. All right. <laughs> so it is the end of the day. I am so tired, but my legs hurt so much. I really want to go make another cup of the BCAs, but I'm just like, let me go ahead and try to um, just soak in a tub a little bit. So I just took like a really quick shower, scrub my body down because this bath is not for cleansing. It's for healing and vibes. <laughs> I'm about to put this on hot. Ugh. And I'm gonna be using Dr. Teal's. This is the sleep bath with melatonin. It's supposed to help ease aches and soreness from muscle pains. And it's also gonna help me sleep good. Not that I need help, but you know. Um, I also have bath salts from Dr. Teal's I'm gonna put in here. And I'm just gonna like use super hot water and just lay in the tub. And I figured if I'm gonna be here, I might as well make it a vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this candle from Walmart. I don't smell like nothing. Trying to climb into the tub. 
I was like, all right, we're trying to feel better, not make it worse. But um, yeah, I'm going to end the video here and end the night here, cause baby, as soon as I get out of this tub, rinse off and go to bed. I'm not even going to moisturize. I'm not putting pajamas. I'm going straight into the bed, nude. I am so tired, and child, I just feel like ooh. Progressive overload, baby. But it's worth it if I want legs like Serena. <laughs> um, also, update on that herb shop that I went to. So since it was closed, I decided to just look up vendors online. Even though I really wanted an in-person in experience. But I did find a seemingly reputable vendor um, that does sell sea moss. And the review said that because um, that particular sea moss gel is mixed with like organic fruit and such allegedly um so i'm like a little iffy about it but <sighs> even the stuff that's fda approved don't be legit you know so um i'm willing to give it a try um to see how my body will react with all the minerals and stuff that it'll provide um yeah, and I will continue to do small, small research and add things here and there to my diet and to my routine to see how that affects my overall health and wellness. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm sure I'll be great and feel great and look great, but you know, that's a given. <laughs> um, and my face is actually my bad, y'all, because I washed my, I washed my face in the shower but didn't moisturize. I'll do all that after. And y'all, I tell y'all, I love that little, um, is it Laneige, that moisturizing toner, that two-in-one? It's basically a hydrating toner and a moisturizer in one. And it's a liquid, so you just rub it onto your skin and it absorbs fairly quickly. And your skin is actually hydrated. And so for nights like this, when I'm super tired, or like a night when I've been out dancing all night or something, I'm like exhausted. It is the perfect way to end my nighttime routine. Because y'all, I can't go through with the reset process right now. Like I can't, I can't, I ain't got it in me, okay? But yeah, so I'm hoping Dr. Teal's gonna work his magic. I had a Dr. Teal's body wash, but I think I either I finished it or I had to throw it away when I moved. But I was like, dang. It was like a body wash specifically for like aches and pains you know so i have to see if i can find it i wish i could slather on the dr two's body oil after this but y'all know um i told y'all it was breaking me out on my chest um i don't think it's non-comedogenic and i'm so upset because it smells so good and made my skin look amazing but um yeah i'm just gonna sit here for 15 20 minutes and then i'm going to call it a night um so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to make certain lifestyle changes. Like I'll, I don't think I'll ever be an extremist. And I say I don't think because you've really never known. I don't think I'll ever be an extremist. I more so just want to have healthy relationships with food and healthy relationships with exercise um, and try to do it in a way that does not make me binge eat which I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an emotional eater and so that can happen um and instead of just like saying jimmy don't have this jimmy don't have that and sometimes i'll say it just for lack of better words or just to like get a, a point across but even when i say something i know people say oh when you say something you put into existence like that's not how that works for me i can say something all day and i know damn well that ain't what it is and it never will be what it is okay um so I'm sorry to all the girls that say words are powerful. And maybe not mine. <laughs> so like I'll say that all the time, but really it's more so instead of saying, Chimima, you can't have fast food or Chimima, you can't have red meat. It's more so here are a list of options in front of you. What can you obtain from this um, food item what nutrients can you source from this item how will this help you and that's not to say i'm never going to have fast food or never have red meat i mean i do want to significantly lower the amount of those food items that i am consuming but i don't think it'll ever be eliminated like do i think mcdonald's is the best 
um, producer of delicious plastic covered in salt. Yes, AKA fries. Yes, delicious. It's not even real. I don't, I don't, girl, that plastic tastes good as hell. So will I say I would never eat McDonald's again? I probably should. But instead of just saying that, because even if it, even if you're not craving something or even something isn't in your mind, the moment you say to yourself, you can't have this anymore, all of a sudden that's when you want it. So instead of saying to you, well, you can't have this anymore, it's okay. You had this last time. Let's go for something different this time. And what can you source from this food item that'll make you feel good? So, you know, that's kind of been my thinking as of late. And um, it's been helping. I have been making changes lately, as you guys have been seeing. Um, changes that I've been targeting in my like monthly resets and hopefully you guys are seeing in the vlogs um, but keep in mind the vlogs are a very 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 condensed version of my life and when I do vlog I tend to just highlight like me going out and me doing like fun things and that is when I am more prone to indulging in certain things and so I am aware that it may seem that I haven't made as many changes as I have. Um, and that's tough, but it's kind of like something that I have to accept as part of life. Um, Cause you know, I, I, I'm really proud of myself. Like, of course I'm not perfect. Um, and I'm never going to be in, nor do I really want, I mean, do I want to be perfect? But perfect is so boring, you know? So I can, yeah, I can say, no, do I want to be, um, but I do want to be better and I want to feel better. And so there's a couple things that I need to get on myself about, um, not even in terms of food and exercise, but just like other things. Like I really need to stop playing and get this, uh, sleep study done. I know I got sleep apnea. I need a <laughs> machine. I know I do. I need something. So it's just, you know, little things like that that I need to get on top of, that I need to start targeting. But overall, the goal is just to feel good and be good, you know? That's always the goal. Not me lopsided and not y'all looking at my pimple. <sighs> y'all, my beard is out of control. <sighs> this water not even hot no more. The fact that I always want to be in boiling hot water, like, Jamima, mm, you have a problem. I am very parched right now. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to drink some water. But anyways, I'm ready to end this video and call it a night, y'all. I'm tired. I'm tired of talking to y'all. Y'all been making me do this all day. And I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. My mouth is dry. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do another one. I guess it depends on how you guys react to this one. But it is what it is. And here we are. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Toodles. It's the foam for me.